All right, so we're back. Paul Miller, social circus pioneer, entrepreneur. I'm a lot like these juggling clubs, okay? Um, I'm from Cleveland. These were from Cleveland. Um, they're uh, beat up, all right, and they've seen a lot of action, all right? Big shout out to Todd Smith in Cleveland, Ohio. I hope you're still making your juggling clubs in Cleveland. I'm not sure. Here's a circus story about a social circus I created in Chicago called Circus Theme, okay? Now this is how it works, Circus Theme. Um, the last episode you found out I was chasing my dreams to be an actor. September 11th happened, shift focus. What feeds my soul? I start a program called Sir Kids, C-I-R-K-I-D-S. I advertise it, I send it around to a bunch of places, and then I find out online and through a book that a group in Canada already exists called Sir Kids. So I'm like, whoa! I'm not going to infringe on their trademark. I'll come up with a new name. So I came up with a name called Circus Theme, building self-esteem through the circus arts. I started that in 2001. 2002, Circus Theme is doing pretty great. We're doing work at about eight different schools. We're working at a community center in a place called Uptown Alternatives in Chicago. Great place. Circus Theme, the greatest kids on earth. Okay, that's our slogan. Uh-oh, Ringling Brothers finds out about this because I used to work with them. And suddenly I have a cease and desist letter. I'm not allowed to use the greatest show on earth. Okay? Greatest, greatest, kids. Kids. greatest kids on earth. The greatest kids on earth. Thank you. My editor's in the back there. So, you know what? Start with, I'm not allowed to use. Yeah. Should I just go from the top? Okay. No. Yeah, no. just start okay. with, I'm not allowed to use. On the I'm not allowed to use the greatest kids on earth. I understand that. That's fine. That's okay. Change the name. Keep the name. Circus theme. Change the slogan. Our kids are center ring. The kids, though, are hungry. They eat at school, breakfast and lunch, Saturday morning circus. They're getting hungry. They're eating flaming hot chips. Oh, my Philbert. I lo love that boy. He used to always come eating flaming hot chips for breakfast. I'm like, what's the problem here? Well, we don't have food at our place, at our home. So I went to the grocery store, Whole Foods. I talked to the manager, I balanced the shopping cart on my chin, voila, they start donating food three days a week. Whole Foods donated real food to these kids. Everyday retailer walking home with $20, $30, $40 with organic this, organic that, started to seriously make an impact. First we start feeding them. 2003, I set up Circus Theme as a 501c3, a non-profit organization. I read Nonprofits for Dummies four times, okay, then I did it. Not a good idea, okay? <laughs> Not a good idea. Seek legal counsel, all right? Was a great idea because people gave us $38,000. Why did they give us $38,000? Because I started a tutoring program. Kids were getting bad grades. Huh, the goal is self-esteem. They can jumble, but they're failing math. They're failing reading. They're failing English. Better do something about it. Started a program called Homework and Circus Work. We started tutoring the kids. That year, we took 11 kids to St. Paul, Minnesota, to the American Youth Circus Organization Festival, and we were like the bad news bears. Everybody loved us. Our kids were darling, they did great work, and I met the people in charge of, from Cirque du Soleil there, and it was an amazing developing relationship. 2004, whoa, you wanna talk about bumping it up a notch, we go from $38,000 to $146,000. People gave us $89,000, and we earned $95,000. Things are cooking, kids' grades are improving, they're getting fat. I'm just kidding. It's good food. They're not getting fat, but they're eating. It's important. 05 comes along. We bump from $146,000 to $287,000. Almost doubles, all right? $130,000 in donations, $156,000 in earned income. We're feeding them. We're giving them tutors. And then we start this thing giving the kids jobs, okay? I got a grant from the Illinois Department of Development, Workforce Development, da 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 supposed to give four kids a job at $1,000 each. And I said, no, 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 no. I'm going to give eight kids a $500 job. Started paying them, paid them cash, tracked the money. Every dollar they save for college, we match that dollar for dollar. We paid them 5% interest. If they calculated the interest formula correct <laughs> that first day, only one kid earned their 32 cents. Uh, but every other day after that, you better believe they started learning how compounding interest works. Jobs. I heard a guy named Wolfgang Beinsel. Wolfgang brought the, um, the gym wheel to Cirque du Soleil. Wolfgang came at the right time, because I'm a clown, I could juggle, I could do some shtick. But by the time kids had been in the program for four, three, four, five years, we needed a real artist. He upped the game dramatically. Pretty amazing stuff. 
Oh, we also went to San Francisco for the American Youth Circus Festival. The board told me I could send six kids if I said, uh, can I take 20 kids if I raise the money? They said yes. So we raised the money and we sent 17 kids to San Francisco. Changed their world. Fantastic. Oh, six. $356,000. $215,000 is given to us. We earn $108,000. No, that math doesn't add up. Um, it was 356. Oh, this must have been a four. All right, I, my chalk's off. 240. Oh, you know what? Let's take a break and interrupt all these financial numbers. If you go to a place called GuideStar, G U I D E S T A R dot org, you can pull the tax returns of any nonprofit Boys and Girls Club, American Red Cross, Circus Team, San Francisco Circus Center. If you go to GuideStar, you can see all this in black and white how much money was earned. How much money was donated? It's amazing. Nonprofits, they belong to the public. That's why they don't pay taxes. Not one person controls a nonprofit. A board of directors does. Occasionally they resign when the going gets tough. But you know, that's what happens. Boards of directors, they have a fiduciary responsibility to propel the organization. Circus theme was my idea. But when Ringling Brothers sued us, there's a great group in Chicago called Lawyers for the Creative Arts. They helped me settle that case, Mayor Brown. And they said, we're going to help you. We're going to trademark Circus Theme for you. Well, guess what? They put Circus Theme, my intellectual property, in the name of an organization that I created. Suddenly, it becomes the public's. Circus Theme to the public is one of my gifts, OK? Um, boy, did that get me in the end. You'll get there in a second. 07 happens, $482,000. $249,000 people give us. We earn $228,000. Things are going great, but we start a scholarship fund because a lot of the people we were working with uh, were refugees from Sudan, uh, Africa, not just Sudan, Togo, Ethiopia, Ghana, all over. And they're in the ROTC. And from my perspective, they left Africa because of war. Okay, And suddenly they're going to come to the United States, uh, learn to be soldiers, and that's how they're going to pay for their tuition? No. Not in, I'm, I'm as patriotic as I get. My grandfather served nobly as a lieutenant. Incredible. But I wanted more for the young people at Circus Team, so I started the Circus Team Scholarship Fund. You get an A, you get $3,000 for college or $3,000 a year, unrestricted, buy a computer, get it, books, whatever you need. I start the Circus Team Scholarship Fund. We had our first graduates that year. Oh, wait, it's $653,000. Whoa, $421,000 are given to us, $228,000 is earned income. Oh, Cirque du Soleil's in town. This is the second time we've worked with Cirque du Soleil. It's the second time we go to Germany. I guess I missed that. A circus in Germany called Circus Pimparello calls me up, and they're like, we want to set up a circus with you, a relationship. I said, hey, I'm into relationships. So I flew out in 05. They flew 11 kids out in 06. The German government paid for most of it. We went again in 08. The Germans came to Chicago in 07. The Germans are going to be coming back. It's pretty exciting. So as you can see, Social Circus is a business that works. I've demonstrated that it's a business that works. It helps kids get out of their scenario by feeding them, giving them tutoring help, giving them jobs, giving them scholarships, touring the world. All right. Social Circus works. However, nonprofits can be squirrely at best. The board of directors made a lot of choices. Ultimately, I got fired and sued for a half a million dollars in 2009. <sighs> Not pretty. But I didn't protect myself. My trademark really was not my trademark. It was put in the name of the organization. I hope that Circus Theme continues to serve kids in these amazing ways. If they can grow the business, fantastic. It's a business that works. Social Circus does. Nonprofits don't work for me because as you can see, I move rather quickly. I develop things that work, and when I started working more with dealing with adults having issues than dealing with kids that have issues, I said, my time is done. March 08, I bought a house in Kentucky, moved here, and that's the end of my time doing social circus in a nonprofit way. Please go to GuideStar, check my numbers, and thank you very much for paying attention to Paul Miller's version of Social Circus, Nonprofits for Clowns, or The Clown's Guide to Nonprofits. Good luck.